Chapter 6 Working on Presentations MS PowerPoint Let's learn Presentation Software Uses of Presentation Software Process of Creating a Presentation Opening PowerPoint Creating a New Presentation Selecting a Slide Layout Inserting a New Slide Adding Text and Images to a Slide Applying theme. Viewing a slideshow. Presentation software. A presentation can be used to prevent an idea or concept to an audience using text, sound, images, and videos. A presentation software presents in an interesting way of combining text, audio, video, and animations together. It displays information sequently in the form of slides. This makes it easy for the audience to understand the content. MS Word PowerPoint and OpenOffice Impress are popular presentation application software that are used to create attractive presentations on a computer. Uses of Presentation Software Education a presentation software can be used by teachers to explain a procedure or highlight important points while teaching students. Advertisement Nowadays, companies use presentation software to explain their plans and products, to illustrate their ideas most effectively and convince the audience easily. Entertainment By using animations and other effects, Presentation software narrates a story to the audience most effectively. Process of creating a presentation The process of creating a presentation involves three steps. Planning, execution, verification. Planning Planning is required to decide the flow of the presentation. It includes gathering information, grouping the related information, listing the main points and subpoints and then arranging them in the form of slides execution execution is the process of creating the slides of the presentations each slide contains information in different forms such as a text image audio and video after creating the slides save the entire presentation is saved by giving a suitable name to it Verification Verification involves checking the correctness of the content. You must perform the following checks to verify your presentation. Check the flow of the presentation. Check whether the points and subpoints are in the correct order. Check for any spelling errors. Opening PowerPoint Steps to open PowerPoint 1. Click the Start buttons 2. Type PowerPoint in the search box. 3. Click the PowerPoint application from the list. Creating a new presentation. Creating a blank presentation. Once you start the Microsoft PowerPoint application, you need to select a presentation template. A template is a sample document that has already some important details added. For example, a certificate or a classroom lesson plan MS PowerPoint contains various types of templates. To create a blank presentation, click the blank presentation tile highlighted in the image given below. Keyword Errors Mistakes Once you click the blank presentation tile, a blank presentation without any template will be created as shown in the image given below. Creating a presentation using a template we can use the themes or templates to make a presentation more attractive. This allows us to save time in creating our own template. Steps to select a theme or template for the presentation. 1. On the File tab, click New. 2. Choose a template from the available templates and themes or type keyword in the search box to search for templates and themes. 3. Select the required template from the search result. Keyword Theme A predefined set of colors 
fonts and other effects that you can apply to your slides. 4. Click the Create option. A new presentation is created based on the select template. Selecting a slide layout. In PowerPoint, a slide layout is used to define the placement of slide elements such as title and content. The dotted rectangular boxes are called the placeholders. They are used to show the placement of various objects on the slide. Whenever you add a new slide in a presentation, its layout is selected as Title Slide. By default, you can however change the layout of this site. Techie Tip You can move a placeholder by dragging and dropping it to the desired location. Steps to select a slide layout 1. Select the Home tab 2. Click the Layout option from the Slides group 3. Click the desired layout from the list. The slide layout of your slide changes to the select layout. Inserting a new slide. You can insert multiple slides to a presentation. On each slide, you can place different objects. Keyword, object, text, logo or image. Steps to insert a new slide. 1. Click the Home tab. 2. Click the drop-down arrow next to the new slide command to see all the available slide layouts. 3. Select the desired layout. The selected slide gets inserted in the presentation. Adding text to a slide. MS PowerPoint allows you to add text on a slide. You can add the title, subtitle and content to the slide using the placeholders. 1. Click inside the placeholder. Type the desired text. 3. Using the sizing handle, adjust the size of the placeholder. 4. You can reposition the placeholder by dragging it to the desired location. Adding pictures to a slide. You can add pictures to a slide to make your presentation more attractive. Steps to add images from the local folder of a computer. 1. Click the insert menu. 2. Click the picture option from the image group. 3. Select the folder where the picture is stored. 4. Select the picture to be inserted. 5. Click the insert button. The selected image gets added to the slide. 6. Use the sizing handles to resize the inserted picture as required. Techie tip. You can also add pictures in a slide from the internet. To do so, you need to choose the Online Pictures option from the Insert menu. Applying Theme You have learned to create a presentation using a template. You can also apply a theme to your slides from creating them. These themes can be found in the Design tab. A theme is a predefined set of font, colors and visual effects that can be applied throughout the presentation. They are used to make the presentation look more interesting. Steps to apply a theme to a slide. 1. Click the Design tab. 2. Click the drop-down arrow to see the all available themes. 3. Select the desired theme. 4. The selected theme will be applied to the entire presentation. Viewing a slideshow. PowerPoint provides the way of presenting all the slides of a presentation in the form of a slideshow. The slideshow displays all slides in a presentation one by one. In full screen, you can use the arrow key, space bar and backspace keys to move from one slide to another. Steps to view a slideshow. Click the slideshow tab. Select from beginning option from the start slideshow group. The slideshow gets started. Did you know? The ESC key is used to stop the slideshow. Techie Trip To run a slideshow from the beginning, press the F5 button on the keyboard. To run a slideshow from the current slide, use the Shift plus F5 button on the keyboard. Let's summarize. A presentation software presents data in an interesting way by combining together text, audio, 
video and animations. The process of creating a presentation involves planning, execution and verification. A theme is a predefined set of colors, fonts and other effects that you can apply to your slide from a uniform look. You can place different objects and add animation effects to all the objects on the slides on each slide. The slideshow displays all slides in a presentation one by one in full screen. You can also right click during a slideshow to go to the next, previous or last viewed slide. You can add images to a slide to make your presentation more attractive.